friend myself Deepak Maurya and this is the lecture 5 of MCS Space Claim. Today we are going to use the detail tool and as well as the measure tool. In the measure tool we are going to know the dimension and mass property for that we need a drawing. For that I am importing the Arcan drawing, Arcan design that is here in front of you. I am selecting the XY plane. This design or the this mold we are going to use for finding the shear testing or to find the shear modulus. Okay. G. Here you can see two solids are there, the lower plate and the upper plate. This upper plate is one hole is missing here. Okay. And here all three holes are there. So first of all we need to know at what position this hole is there so i am going in the measure i am clicking at the center of this hole and i am using the control and clicking the another center i come to know that the distance is 32 mm similarly i can go here click it here and i can click with the control here if the control will lose it will not so okay so click it here sorry click the center click the another center with the control the distance it will be shown on okay 32 mm okay like this i come to know you can measure the other distance like this this is the 90 degree between adjacent surfaces and the line length is 96.52 diameter you can see circle diameter angle you can see at anything you can area parameter similarly you can see the mass properties also by clicking it here you can click it here you can see the volume that is one like uh, 150600 1,50,000 here you can see 1,48,000 and you have the center of volume total surface area relative moment everything principal moment axis everything is there available with you Okay, when you have click it here, you can see you can see the check geometry. No geometry problems are fine. Similarly, here you can the check geometry like this. This is the assembly tool. But main thing is we have just measured key the distance between the two is 32 mm. We are going in the sketch tool. So here, what is there? We can draw these hole by two way. First, click it here and go in the design and say sketch mode when you go in the sketch mode then say view the xy plane just the shift move down downside whenever you will move the downside you can see there is an option for tab that is minus 32 you can just press it minus 32 and okay i have actually missed that minus 32 so i am going it again shift move shift move down downside <clears throat> okay then press enter so you will press enter uh, the diameter it is asking whenever you will increase you can see the other circles these small circles get green uh, this will show that it is having the same diameter as this circle now just press the enter when you will press the enter you can see you can see this has formed circle has formed sketch then go on the 3d mode when you will go in the 3d mode this surface has created here okay and you have to just click it here and uh, this cut is there you can click is cut and you can say up to where you can say up to here so you can see that this uh, circle has all the hole is created this is one of the way to create the arc design <coughs> but we are not interested this is little bit uh, time consuming so what we can do i am opening the same model again arc design opening again is it opening up again okay actually the same model has file open arcan design open okay actually i have opened the same thing so what i am going to do 
I am going to put the control set. Control set. Control set. Control set. Okay. This hole is removed. Or what you can do? You can do one more thing. You can click it here and fill this radius zero. This hole will gone. Okay. Now I have to move made this hole. So what I can do, I can use the move tool. I can click it here, move. I am selecting this hole. I am saying move in the y direction, negative y direction, and I am clicking the control. I am pressing the control also. I am this and moving it here, and I have pressed the space bar also, and I am moving to thirty two. According, I have remember it was at thirty two mm. So I am putting it enter. So you can see this hole is came here at thirty two. I can again clicking it here. I am saying move it here. Saying control and at what position? Control just press uh, move it there and then space bar and I am saying the thirty two. Thirty two. Okay, you can see this move tool is very. A uh, good tool is here. We can do many other options with this move tool. So this move tool is much better than that. Uh, the before designing, go draw the sketch, and that all that is a little bit time consuming also, and especially when we have created the pattern. Okay. So this is here. That is the related to assembly as well as the move tool. Now we can go in the details. The details. This is for the generating the three D drawings. Okay, in the details, or you can go from here. File new drawing sheet. Then you will create the drawing sheet. It will become it here. File new drawing sheet. So from here it will be much easier, but the same thing is there. That is a detail cross section. So first of all, which uh, uh, angle projection is coming here? You can see on the left hand side, left hand side, bottom. This is a third angle projection. Whenever it is a third angle projection, this is what? This is which? Whether it is a front view, top view, what view it is there? So it is a front view, and this is the top view, and this is the side view, and you can see it. Okay. Uh, I actually want to change the scale of this one. So you have to just do nothing. You have gone to here. This is one is to two independent scale. Means to say one was there, and it has uh, decreased the dimensions by one by two. But I am going. I am saying one by three. So you can see the dimensions has decreased more. I am saying one is to one. Okay, like this. Okay, here you can use the uh, this kind of variation. One is to one. So I am going one is to two. Of two is looking good. Okay, scale means to say with respect to the one, how much you are going to decrease it with respect to one. So I am. Going it to decreases by two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you want to want to see wireframe, it will be come in wireframe. Especially, I choose this one as a wireframe. Or you want to see the shaded, it will become the shaded hidden line removed. Just going to use the shaded, or you can change the views and anything also. For example, I'm going to change it to bottom. You can see the third angle projection, but so this is the way of changing cross sections. Everything, even you can see, this is the this layout is what. If you will see, this is a horizontal layout. If you want to change the orientation from the landscape to portrait, you can change it from here. Landscape to portrait. No, I want it to be on the landscape. You can see that 
these format has gone the below uh, the dimensions and everything but you can dig that format also from here like the scape okay then you can just bring it back with you you have you can move it by yourself these things you can move it by yourself so just try to be focused on the starting one P and the first one is a the first one was a good one okay now if you will go in the dimensions here here these are the whatever the line and thickness you are going to when I'm going for the dimensions for example if I'm going to use this dimension okay so here the same dimension is coming but is mentioned here change the size of the annotation text if I'm going to change it 5 now see the next dimensions of this one now you can see the dimension has increased okay what is this one and two that is the width of these lines okay now you can see again I am saying this one okay radius is coming everything you can just obtain it from here dimension has came why it has not changed 1.5 I am saying 1.25 you can go for anything okay just you have to click and all dimensions will come here so like this we can make the dimensions for example from here we can change the font Arial. okay now I am going to change it like this this is the coming with Arial. what was else was there benches and light what is that bench script light light okay you can see this mm has little bit changed five the dimensions mm, it is a starting from the sites select the select tool is there dimensions if you want to put any note abc you can just click it there you can put it here Darken design You can put it here arc and design or whatever you want to do okay if you want the general then you can click it here at the its view will come and even you can change the view of this one isometric is already there trimetric you can change you can change the top and bottom but already we have the that's why we are putting it here as the isometric view that we can do it likewise we can do the cross-sectional view also for that cross-sectional view um, I'm not want to do it here because already this is mesh up this is a very nice tool detail tool which we can use for our purposes okay friend bye